all got diagnosed with cancer at a similar time. And then the first time we met was on our way to record the first podcast in Manchester, um, which was a bit bonkers, but we just connected instantly. I just got a food for Simon actually. Yes! Yes, we love options. We love Those two girls are the ones who know exactly how I'm feeling. So they've just been amazingly supportive through all of this um, and, and really helped me just to get through it. Right, here's the series two. Rachel and Deborah, like I class them as two of my closest friends now. I talk to them almost every day. So to see my friends going through something like this, it is heartbreaking. Hello and welcome to You, Me and the Big C. We all have one thing in common. We all have or we have had cancer. It's not all clinical and cold. You know, I love that as a podcast we talk about cancer like it's EastEnders. My way of flirting is either saying you, me, home now or um, asking people what their favourite dinosaur is. We set out to achieve with the podcast the idea of telling people that they're not alone. Woo! Deborah's stressed as a poo! <laughs> <laughs> Within the space of a minute we are laughing and crying hysterically all at the same time. Um, and that is what cancer is like. <laughs> But that's talk. the important thing about Bowel Cancer Awareness Month, isn't it? That is it's talking about your poo. I've got my little boy, Freddie, who is three. I don't want to be crying at him every time I look at him. I, still, I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy those moments when he tells me that he loves me. All the way home was just saying to Freddie, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, because you're going to make me... Sorry, it's the first thing that's made me cry in the whole 12 episodes of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally broken me. You've um, not done anything wrong. Oh, You've no. not done it, so you have nothing to oh. apologise for. And I feel like he's at that age where he might not even have any memories of me. I wanted to leave that, that imprint of my love around him. So I'm basically writing down my whole life um, in a book for him. And I just really hope that through his life, he will come back to that book and take comfort from it and feel like he knows the kind of person that his mother was.